on Matt's mind today, the return <laughs> of the blob off the Oregon coast. Sounds like a horror feature, Matt. Who knows what lurks beneath these calm and tranquil waters, right? <laughs> the blob, apparently. The blob, yeah. <laughs> Lots of big things, of course. A beautiful day at Pacific City right now. This is live right now, uh, 67 degrees, but yes, the blob is on my mind. You remember it's about five years ago, 2014, the blob made the news. What it was was an area of very warm seawater off of our coast, really from California up to Alaska, much warmer than normal. And it stuck around for a long time. It had a big impact on sea life. That, there are some major differences, though, between that one and this one, although this one is big. And the sea surface temperature is running as much as five degrees above average for this time of the year. It's still cool along the coast because of upwelling. However, as we go into fall, that tends to diminish. And so the concern is if this warm water reaches the coast, then it can have a very big impact on marine life like it did back in 2014. Now, this blob is a lot shallower and it's caused by a lack of wind basically over a very large area. So if the fall storm season kicks in and we start getting some good storms moving across, that can break up the blob, mix out that warm water and things go back to the way they are. We just don't know if that's going to happen or not. And if it does persist, it can have an influence on our weather because that warm air or sorry, the warm water can help to warm the air that we would normally uh, bring us cooler air in the fall. So we'll have to wait and see how the blob behaves over the months ahead. Hopefully it'll be gone by Halloween. Nobody wants the blob on Halloween, ladies. Back to you. <laughs> I feel like I did see a movie called The Blob, actually. <laughs> oh, how about Breakup with the Blob, the sequel? Yeah, All that right. could be painful. Matt, yes. thank you.